Keeping your database, or resources, like songs, presentations, and media, updated from one computer to another can be done easily using a schedule file in Easy Worship. In this video, I'll show you how to transfer and update individual database files from one computer to another. When you open a schedule, Easy Worship, by default, will check the information in the schedule and compare it to what you have in your database. Opening a schedule in Easy Worship will prompt the update local computer window to open if it detects differences between the schedule and the database. If you open a schedule and know that there are differences, but the update local computer window doesn't open, you can either right-click in the schedule or click the gear icon in the top right hand corner of the schedule window and select check schedule for changes. If you'd like the window to open automatically, check the box at the bottom to show this window when a schedule is open. In this update local computer window, you'll see a list of items that either don't exist in the resource area or they do exist but are different than what's in the schedule. At the bottom, you can do a mass update to the resource area or do a mass update to the schedule from the resources. This basically means that if you update all items to the resources, it will replace and add all items in the schedule to the resources or database. For example, if you have the same song in the database but something is different between them, it will replace the song in the database with the one in the schedule. Remember this is a permanent change. You won't be able to undo this. You also have the option to manually change it to Add to Resource to make a separate copy and not affect the existing song. If the song doesn't exist in the database, it will add it. And if you choose to update all to Schedule, it will replace anything in the schedule with what's in the database. For example, if you edited a song in the schedule and you choose to update the schedule, it will replace the scheduled item with what's in the database. If you choose to import lyrics for songs only, it will only add new song lyrics from the schedule to the database. To manually make your choices, you can deselect these boxes and choose what you want for each individual item in the list. Before you decide what you want to do with any selected item, you can click Compare to view the differences between the scheduled item and its database counterpart. In this window, you can select to use the schedule item, which will update the resource song from the schedule, or you can use the resource item, which will update the schedule with the song from the database. Or you can skip it and do nothing with either one. When you're finished making your choices, click Import, and Easy Worship will process those choices you made. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing Easy Worship.